Hi, it's me, it's Anthony Coach, a guitarist on YouTube. And I want you to have a listen to these five licks. And that there, that I've just demonstrated, is quite a simple concept. It doesn't sound so simple, I think it's really effective, it's very versatile, you'll be able to take this knowledge and use it in your own playing with your own ideas. So let's see what's going on. Wait, 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 hang on, hang on, sorry, sorry. Uh, no, no, it's a real YouTube cliche for YouTubers to ask you to subscribe and comment and like videos, but it really does help us out, us, us small YouTubers, it's like currency for us, so uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want just free guitar lessons and stuff, uh, and comment down below. Let me know what guitar you play, what kind of music you like, um, it helps me grow the channel and make it a better channel for you. Uh, thank you very much, sorry for the massive cliche, but I'm going to carry on now, thanks. So I'll show you the concept first and then I'll show you how I applied it to those five different licks. First of all, we need to know the concept and the concept is simply this. Uh, I'm going to take uh, the first six notes of a C minor pent no, C minor scale. If you don't know that scale, it's fingers one, three, four, then again fingers one, three, four. It's going to look like this on fret eight. <laughs> Okay, that was fret 8, 10, 11, 8, 10, 11. But what's more important is using fingers 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4. Because here's a concept that you may or may not be aware of. I'm going to take these giant novelty slippers off because they are too warm. Anything that you play on the two strings like that can then be repeated in a different octave two frets up on the middle two strings, like this. So if you've got... You can then take that same pattern and start it on fret 10. You can even take it further up the guitar, up to fret 13 for the next octave. Notice how that isn't just two frets up, it would sound wrong, it'd sound like this. You can hear it sounds wrong, you've got to account for the tuning of a guitar. That pattern there is a really good one to practice. Or backwards. Because the tricky bit is having to snap your finger into each new position. Snap. Snap. Whoops, I got it wrong, so I'd have to practice it. So going back to the examples, those five licks that I showed you, that first one, I'm just doing arpeggios. That's your basic arpeggio, finger one, four, three. Take that up to the next octave. Then the next octave. And here's how it sounded back on to the backing track. Then I immediately descended down. Fingers four, three, one, four, three, one. So I've got to do the same, starting in those middle two strings. So then I could have done the exact same going up the strings, like this. And that would have worked, but I didn't do that. I did a little variation. Instead of using fingers one, three, four, one, three, four. I go one four three one four three. With whatever ending I put on it on the back end. Here's how that sounded over the backing track. And then I completely ripped off. Ingve Malmsteen, uh, again, as I often do, with his pattern where he would play. That's 4 1, 3 4, 3 1. And I 
take that exact pattern, play it on the second string. Then I take it to my middle two strings, then the bottom two. And you can take that, build up the speed. And here's how that sounded over the backing. And then finally, I did ascend simply through those notes, but I did both ascensions, is that a word? Ascendings twice. So, just going up, then again. So all together that's... Then I took that up two frets on the next middle two strings for my next octave. Then up to fret 13. kind of ending on there. Uh, here's how that sounded over the backing track. And when it comes to this kind of stuff you are really only limited by your imagination. You can come up with any guitar lick, uh, as simple or as complex as you want and it just sounds good. see how you like it. Don't forget to stop by and comment below, uh, it's always good when you come and say hello, let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Maybe a cover, it's been ages since I've done a cover, give me some cover requests, I might do that. Uh, anyway, I've been Anthony Coach, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.